Joseph, this is no time to be sleeping. Why? What time is it? It's the middle of the night. Don't most people sleep in the middle of the night? That's exactly why it's the best time to do <clears throat> certain things. I don't know how you can sleep under this pile of rubbish. This isn't a pile of rubbish. I built this house with my own hands. Well, put these on your hands and come and help me. Why must I wear these gloves, Mr. Agrippa? I don't want you to ask so many questions, Brother Joseph. What I do want is for you to help me push this car. Uh, what? Look at this. Don't worry about that. They often do that. Come on, let's go. Ready? It doesn't smell very good either. What sort of stuff is inside these things? Don't you worry about that, Joseph. It's just some stuff I have to put away safely. Come on, let's go. Until I can get rid of it properly. And I know just the place. I don't think we should really be doing this, Mr. Agrippa. I'm talking about you. I never notice. I'm going to put the stuff down there. For my health, do you? Now that I've done all the hard work, all you have to do is lug these things down there into the tunnel. Uh, I'll be the lookout. I'm sorry, Mr. Lada, but what can I do? I know it's an impossible situation. But I don't have any control over the people that drive the garbage trucks. I'm only the caretaker. I know. I know, but if the owner does not... Mr. Lada? Mr. Lada? Oh, no. Not another one. Oh, what a smell. Oh. Why do they all think it's my fault that the owner hasn't paid the rates and the council won't take our garbage away? What can I do? Hi, Mr. Mkise. I don't know if you know, but the uh, stairs are full of rubbish bags. Frankly, don't you start as well. Did I say something wrong? You could say that. The council is refusing to clear the rubbish because the owner has stopped paying them. And everyone now is shouting at my father. That's not fair. That's what he says, too. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jay. Does anyone want to go down the road and get some ice cream? Are you paying? Mm -hmm. I'll come. Wait a bit. Where did you get the money? Oh, Mrs. Lada asked me to clear the rubbish off her landing. She pays you for this? Mm. 50 cents a bag. Where did you take them? There's a skip four blocks that way. Sure. You never catch me carrying stinking rubbish four blocks for 50 cents. Never in a million years. Oh. How much further is it? Another block and a half. Oh, there must be an easier way of doing this. Of course, I'm only doing this to help your father. And because the price went up to 60 cents. That's got nothing to do with it. I'll see you back at the flats. I still have another two loads to carry before the end of today. I'm going to wash all these clothes. They stink from all this rubbish. It's going to be dark by the time I'm finished. You get here so quickly. You had two more loads to do. Tell him, Jay. See what Frankie thinks of what you did. Yeah, what did you do? I just found a better place to dump the rubbish. That's all. Is it really a better place? I'm not so sure. Oh, well, it was closer. Exactly. But in a street that people use. Hey, nobody uses that street. And I told you, there was already rubbish by the time I got there. People were already doing it. And what would happen if everyone did that? Just dumped rubbish where it was a bit out of the way? This city wouldn't be a nice place to live in. I think it's disgusting. Why didn't you tell me about it? What's all this? Are people trying to tell me something? Ah, no, man! 
Hi, man. Go. Who is it? What's that smell? The kids have taken all the rubbish away, but it still smells like we're living in a garbage dump here. You're right. But most of the garbage is in the skips. I'd better take a look around. Can you smell it, too? Where is it coming from? I can't even work it out if it is inside or outside. This was the best place I had found for about six weeks. Where did all this come from? I thought it came from your flats. But there was never this much before. This was such a clean neighborhood when I moved in. Tell them before what, Jay? Before... before I put one or two bags here. So you dumped rubbish here? I thought you were taking it to the skips. Well, I didn't think anyone ever came here. Do you really sleep here, Brajo? I'll find somewhere else. No, 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 no. You don't have to move. If Jay started this mess, then he has to clear it up. Don't you agree, Jay? But, but this is about five or six times more than I put here. I only put a few bags. Other people followed your bad example. It is a bit more than Jay can cope with all on his own. Yes. Don't worry, Mr. Mkise. We'll work something out. If we could find our go cart, it would be a great help. Then you won't have to carry the bags to the skips one by one. Are you sure it was here? Oh, I don't remember what happened to it. Can you go smell something? Of course we can smell something. It's all that rubbish that you dumped here. No, not only that. There's, there's something else. You are trying to tell us that it's not all your fault? I thought I could smell something else this morning. A sort of sharp smell. Yes, yes, that's it. Something like that. Oh, don't make it any easier for him, Spider. It's time we established a few facts here. Oh, no, not you guys. Let's talk about pollution. One of the greatest threats to our health and safety. The pollution can come in many different forms. The most obvious form is the stuff you can see. Tins, papers, potato peels, and metal foil around chocolate bars. But actually, the most dangerous forms of pollution are usually the kind that you can't see. Like air pollution, smoke, gases. Sometimes you can't see these. And then, of course, there is also chemical pollution. Certain compounds can make the air unfit to breathe. They can also make the soil barren and unfit for life. And the water unfit to drink. It's safest just to keep away from the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Everyone's advised to stay inside their cupboards with the doors closed. Speaking of which, it's time to close our doors. <laughs> I'm picking up some particularly strange smells out there. Mm. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do you know where our go-kart has gone to? No, of course we don't. Jojo, I knew it was here somewhere. Great! It's gonna make our lives much easier now. Are you going home already, Ma? This is a bit early for you. I know, but I just can't stand there at my store anymore. Something smells too bad. It's all right, Mama Bones. It was all Jay's fault. Uh, but we've got one more load to go and the smell will be gone. No, it's not that smell. Mm -hmm. Right there at my store, that place has a special bad smell all of its own. Frankie and I are experts when it comes to bad smells. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like a bad smell. We'll have a look for you, Ma. Oh, thanks, boys. I'm actually feeling a bit dizzy. Yes, sir. I'll be there at the usual time. No, no, I can assure you the place where I'm storing them is absolutely safe. No, well, almost no one in the area. No one that anyone takes any notice of anyway. <laughs> no, no, I never read the papers. Really? But that's just journalists making trouble again. Well, well, if you think it's that dangerous, I'll see if I can think of a better place. No, absolutely. I know that your company has to come out of this smelling of roses. Understood. And people think I'm a rat. <laughs> Just wait till they meet the real crocodiles. <laughs> You're right. It must be coming from down there. I told you. 
That's why it smells so bad round my bone stool. She's right over the other entrance. Oh, well, come on, let's go and see. No, no, listen. Uh, I, I, I have to go home now. Okay. I've done enough smell engineering for one day. You, you, you'll have to go in on your own. Whatever is making that smell must be this way. Can you smell it? It's getting stronger. What am I doing here? I don't want to be here. This is crazy. Look! What's this? What's all this stuff? Whatever is inside is leaking out. Look! That's where the smell is coming from. There's something written on the side of these things. Can you read it? Contents dangerous. Handle with extreme care. What does that mean? What do you think it means? This is some sort of seriously horrible stuff. I don't like this. You mean like chemical waste? Something like that. Who would put all this stuff down here? Shh. Switch off your torch. What do you mean? I don't want to be in the dark down here. Quickly. Someone is up there. Has anyone told you you're not smelling your best these days, Brother Joseph? It's this stuff. What's in these containers, Mr. Agrippa? Don't ask questions you wouldn't understand the answers of, Brother Joseph. <laughs> there again. My employer is a bit worried. How are we going to do that? I can't carry all these. I am fully aware of your limitations, Brother Joseph, and that is why I have hired a truck and a driver to be here at one o'clock tomorrow night. Are you finished yet? <coughs> so, what are we going to do about Mr. Agrippa and his plans? Huh? What do you mean? We don't have to do anything. Oh, didn't he say he's taking the stuff away? Mm. But where to? Oh. This is very dangerous stuff. What did the facts say? Chemical pollution is the most dangerous. Mm. Unless he's stopped. He's just going to take that stuff somewhere else and destroy someone else's environment. Oh. Maybe he won't. Uh, maybe he's uh, going to get rid of it properly. Mm -mm. We don't really know what's in those containers. But it must be terrible stuff if they go to all this trouble to hide it. Well, we might even be contaminated already. Okay. Maybe our hair's about to turn green. So, what are we going to do? Hello? Is that the New Town News? Can I speak to Norma Malonga, please? Ayanda, what are you doing? I was about to take these bags to the skips and... Uh, and now you're unpacking them. Oh, I read this article in the New Town News. Nama wrote it. It's about how you recycle rubbish. Recycle? Oh, like use them again. Glass, tins, papers. Lots of stuff can be used again if you just keep it separate from the rest of the rubbish. Oh, oh, oh. so now we have to get all dirty trying to keep everything separate. In this article, Noma suggested you have separate bins for the separate things. Uh -huh. And then you can take them in and actually get paid for them. And, and what do we do with the smelly stuff? Uh -huh. Some of it you could use to make a compost heap. Mama, it's Mama. Nice to see you. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Listen, thanks for tipping me off about the chemical waste story. My editor wants me to investigate it further. Great. Maybe you can help us with this problem we're having here. Oh, Jay likes to change the subject. Mama, tell him about compost. Always willing to be of assistance. What you have to do is separate the organic from the inorganic waste. Oh. You know what organic waste is, don't you? Yeah, uh, waste that you can organize easily. <laughs> <laughs> organic means it is natural, Jay, like piece of wood or vegetable. Yeah, that's right, or paper or leaves or banana peels. Yeah. See, maybe you should put these in a pile here on the roof and let it stand for a while. It makes great compost. And what do we do with the compost? Use it to make the soil richer and help the plants to grow. It's great stuff. One side is for bottles and the other is for tins. Papers here, compass there. Let's come say good things. One side is for bottles and the other is for tins. Papers here, compass there. Let's come say good things. Rubbish can be used again, not only thrown away. Tomorrow will be cleaner, recycling ways today. Rubbish can be used again, not only thrown away. Tomorrow will be cleaner, recycling waste today. I hope he's still coming. Mm, 
Now, remind me again what we have to do when he gets here. The Norma is going to rush out there and take a photograph of them, lifting the containers out of the hole. <gasps> did I remember to put any film in the camera? Yes, I did. <laughs> and she's going to write the story in the New Town News. Yeah, <laughs> telling everyone how Mr. Griffith's going to turn all our hair green. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can get him to confess to what he's trying to do. But shouldn't we follow him and see what he's going to do with that horrible stuff? Oh, Jay, how are we going to do that? Use your head. Hold on. Jay might be right. We should make sure that he's going to get rid of them in the wrong way. Otherwise, he could just say that there's nothing wrong with what he's doing and I won't have a story. Sure, but how are we going to follow him? In my van. It's round the back. Uh, I don't think we should do anything that's going to be dangerous. Oh, come on, Frankie. It'll be fun. Don't be scared. I'm not scared of anything. I could... Uh... Oh, no. Here they come. Come on, Joseph. Let's get on with it. We've got a lot to do tonight. Come on, come on, come on. I don't feel good sitting in here with these things. Oh, don't be such a sissy, Joseph. The harmfulness of this stuff is highly overrated. Which way did they go, Spider? They went that way. No, oh, they went that way. No, that way. Oh. Frankie, what do you say? I am is right. Okay. There, can't you see the sign? It says park and the arrow goes that way. There they are. Looks like they might be headed for the park. Good. I'd run out of petrol if they were going much further. Hold on, everybody. That's the second time I've seen that red car. Go, Norma, go! 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 Turn left here and put your foot down. But I thought the pug was that other way. Of course it is. But there is somebody following us. We don't want them to know that, do we? Oh, no. We've lost them again. Which way? Somebody had better make a decision. I'm sure they went that way, no. but it all happened so fast. No, it was the other way. I saw them double back. You think we've lost them? I think so. <laughs> Good driving. Now, get us straight to the park. How do we get there from here? I don't know how we get there from here. You're the one with the map. I'm sorry you didn't get your story, Norma, but at least we gave them a prize. <laughs> Hold it. What's that over there? Oh, well done. We found them again. I knew they were heading for the park. Come on, Brother Joe. We're here. We've got them. We've got them. Quiet, everyone. Let's see what they're up to. Did you put all this other stuff down here too, Mr. Agrippa? <laughs> yes, exactly. All my own work. Nobody can tell me I'm not clever. Nobody can tell you anything, sir. Exactly. Now, let's get the rest of this stuff down here. Yeah, take that. Wait a minute. Hmm? I thought I heard something. Nonsense. It's because it's so quiet out here. You can hear the leaves growing. Hey! What was that? It's ghosts. Listen. You see? I don't see anything. I hear that the ghosts are running away. Oh, ghosts don't make such a noise crashing through the undergrowth. These are very human people and have just taken a flash photograph of us doing this. Really? Will they send us a copy, maybe? Really, Joseph, you are an idiot. Oh. <laughs> I hope the pictures come out clearly. <laughs> Did you see the look on his face? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, hey, 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 why does it feel like there's even less room in this car than there was on the way to the park? Oh, it's probably because of this. Oh, Jay, what are you doing with this? We don't need to see any more bags of rubbish. Oh, this isn't rubbish. This is a bag of leaves and things I found at the park. I think it'll be great for Dad's compost heap. I don't believe this. I thought you guys were having a problem getting rid of rubbish. And now you're collecting more of it. I know. <laughs> Mm, this 
these are good photos. Nice shooting, Norma. So, you really think he'll come? Sure, he'll come. That note that I sent him saying that I had these photos will be enough to bring him running over here. Now, what's all this nonsense? I have a feeling that it is a long way from being nonsense, Mr. Agrippa. And I don't think that any of our readers will think it's nonsense either when they read that you've been dumping toxic waste next to the river in the park. Just see how pretty you look in the pictures. I might have known you would be mixed up in all this. I have done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? You are destroying a local park, polluting a river, and probably endangering people's health, all so that you can make a bit more money. My contract was to get rid of this stuff where it wouldn't cause any damage. I think I have done that very well. Maybe we should all go down there and take a look at how little damage it is causing. You see, there's absolutely nothing different to any ordinary kind of park. If all parks were like this, then no one would come. I think we should take a few photographs of this. Oh, do you think, oh, do you think that's really necessary? I mean, People don't want to look at pictures of dead fish in the papers, do they? Oh, they do if they think it might be one of them that's dead next. But you can't see anything. I went to an awful lot of trouble not to disturb the natural beauty. I'm afraid not nearly enough trouble. You see, whatever horrible stuff is inside those tins of yours has oozed through the soil and into water of the river. It is poisoning everything else around here. And all the people that live further down this river too. And in the end, that water ends up in the dams where we get our drinking water. That's right. The whole city could end up with green hair because of you. But that's all nonsense. I mean, they filter that water. But all right, all right. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? I mean, this, this really doesn't have to get into the papers, does it? Well... Perhaps if you promised that you would get a professional company to come and dispose of the stuff in the proper way. Oh. All right. It will be done. It will be done. Still can't work out how you managed to get Mr. Agrippa to come around with that truck and take away the residents' rubbish. They did it to get this picture out of the paper. <coughs> but oh. most people do that sort of thing to get their picture into the paper. Mm -mm, not this picture. Hmm, wonderful. Now tell us, what's the occasion? Try the vegetables first, then we'll tell you. Oh. <coughs> Just wonderful! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the occasion is, these are the first vegetables that we've grown out of garbage. A <laughs> <laughs> garbage is turning into great compost spider. <laughs> I don't believe this. No. It's not possible. Go away, whoever you are. No one can see me now. Mr. Agrippa, please. I have a problem. Brother Joseph? What is it? And we buy them from you? Sure. Or right to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 